And with COVID-19 causing problems for hospitals across the country, hospitals in outlying parts of the state are especially struggling to keep up with the demand. KTBO's Kaylin McGee reports tonight from Scotland County Hospital in Memphis. With the rising cases of COVID-19 in the rural community, rural hospitals are working hard to meet the demand, despite not having the resources of bigger hospitals. Scotland County Hospital is having the opposite problem than most hospitals. They have enough beds unlike their counterparts, but due to exposure to COVID-19, their staff is shorthanded, which is making it hard to meet the demand. Now, uh, it's really cut back on our ability to to actually admit more patients. Uh, we have the beds, uh, but quite frankly, we don't have the staff to care for uh, all of the needs that we have in our community uh, beyond even the COVID uh, surge that we're having right now. To combat this, the hospital is asking anyone with hospital experience or who has retired to come back to work to help the hospital out. And so far, they've had very positive results. We're trying to bring in some people and offering uh, the public and people who've worked in this facility before um, to come back and help in, in, in any way they can. We, we literally just started that last week, so we're, we're still in the infancy stage of that, but we've had some pretty positive results so far and had people interested in reaching out and helping as much as they can. However, even with the added help, the hospital is facing another issue caused by the pandemic, limited resources. Our, um, resources are extremely thin, uh, and as we see more cases, we're also seeing more serious cases. Uh, we're seeing a significant increase in community spread uh, and community positivity rates. Therefore, it's impacting uh, our resources that we have available for the other patients who are not necessarily COVID positive. That is why if you have any illness, even if it isn't COVID-19, you should reach out to your doctor. We implore people, don't put off your um, medical necessities now. Uh, there are uh, many different ways you can access us, both through the clinic uh, and, and other out, uh, outsources um, that we can utilize virtual visits. Um, but if they ignore their medical necessities now, it, it turns out being a bigger problem in the future, which again just taxes our, our resources and our staff. Reporting for KTVO News, I'm Kayla McGee.